morning guys. It is just gone 6 a.m. We are leaving Fiji today and we are heading to American Samoa. We uh, thankfully were staying in a hotel literally right next to the airport so we just walked across and uh, you can see Baloo there sitting with all the big planes. We just need to go and uh, clear customs. I think we need to, oh I think we fueled up yesterday so that should be fine. Um, hopefully we'll be airborne by seven. Okay guys, we have just uh, paid for all the airport fees and it's over 3,000 US dollars, which is the most we've paid yet. Right, time to head to American Samoa. I think this is, I need to check, but I think this might be my 80th country that I'm visiting. Let me just confirm that. Yeah. American Samoa is my 80th country. That's pretty cool. That's a cool milestone. November Echo Uniform advice ready. Oh, we're ready to go, sir. Careful. November Echo Uniform wind 0905 knots. Turn right of the airborne. Contact the approach 1190. Samoa 1 cleared for takeoff runway 20. Clear for takeoff 20. Right turn and then contact approach 119. That's more 130. I love tropical islands. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. November, I can inform my traffic is coming up at your 3 o'clock, passing 2,000 feet, climbing 9,500. Copy that, uh, we have a Montecast here, so we'll stay clear of them. So uh, we're established en route to Luplo, passing through 4,600. November 210, I can inform we have the Twin Otter in sight. Uh, I can from uh, copy thanks and uh, confirm maintaining 9,000 feet. That's affirmative level 9,000 and uh, updated ETA for loop low is 1956 Zulu. How's the weather today? Nothing on my forecast. So it'll just be local storms like this that we'll have to fly around. Wow, that is pretty spectacular on the right. All the clouds and then uh, the coastline. It's weird, but going home was really good for my stomach. I feel like my body just relaxes to the point where it's not as tense and... Yeah, it's good. Oh, this water is insane. Yeah, it's the, the color is just unbelievable. It's happiness. Like, I, I can't see how you can't be happy being near something like this. I just want to go dive so badly. Do you have the same one on your side? Uh, yeah, it's pretty similar. Oh man. I wonder whether we this is the bluest blue I've ever seen. Oh, look how, look at that one. It goes like turquoise yeah. and then deep blue. Yeah, yeah, here, look. It's like the deep blue.
You know we have, if everything goes to plan, we have a whole week. Easy. In Hawaii. There is. We could actually, if we wanted to push it to 10 days, that might be good recovery time. And that will give us enough time, if there's bad weather, to get to California. We'll have a few kind of... Uh, yeah, I'll potential. have a pretty good picture, like two or three days ahead. But I'll start monitoring it around on the second, and then we'll start deciding which days. But that's 100% yeah. made, made, like 100%. So if we don't have any hiccups here, we're gold. What would you like to do in Hawaii? Should we, should we try and find a nice hotel and then do some diving? And yeah, I'd, I'd definitely like to do some sightseeing, because uh, I've never been there. Which island are we going to? The main one? Uh, I don't know what it's called. Oh, by the way, very soon we're passing over to tomorrow. Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. And tomorrow back into tomorrow, which is weird to say. <laughs> so we're gaining a full day again, and then we're losing a full day again. Yeah. Yeah. So in nine minutes, we're jumping forward 24 hours. Jumping backwards. We're going back in time. Oh, we're jumping backwards. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Bye. Till today. Four, three, two, one. And it's tomorrow. No, it's, it's yesterday. Oh, it's yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's so confusing. It's so confusing. Fluffy. I just want to squidge the cloud. I just want to squidge it. Uh, I would suggest getting your belt tied on because we're going to go through these clouds and it's going to... Okay. It's going to get nasty. Pago Pago traffic November 2018 to form uh, 18 miles to the southwest. 2,000 feet uh, joining straight in for a 10 mile final 05. International Airport. Wait, Automated nearly just got hit by a bird. Two, three, three, six, oh, four, there are lots of birds here. Zero, Ooh, nine, there. zero at one, zero. Visibility, Whoa. one, one, zero. Flipping Sky it. condition, two clouds at one thousand. Hercules, is that what they call them? It is, yeah. That thing is equipped for landing on snow. Heads oh, wow. a bit far away from home. Oh yeah, it's got skis on it. So we've arrived in American Samoa. I didn't actually know that this place existed. I knew about Samoa, but I didn't know American Samoa existed until maybe a few weeks ago when we were plotting it in. And uh, like I said, when we took off this morning, this is my 80th country, which is a pretty good landmark. Um, this airport we found out as we were coming in to land, is unmanned, so there's like, there's kind of a security like desk, but there's just people chilling, so I just walk through to use a toilet whilst we're refueling, and then we'll find out the plan. That is cool. Hey, Bala, where are you from? Man? I like it. From the UK. Oh, the fish, man. <laughs> Guys, 
because of all the places in the world. I have met someone that's been watching our videos around the world. This is Edwin. Me and Bro. Been following you, so, yeah. <laughs> so good to meet you, man. Well guys, we have been relaxing the whole afternoon since we got here. Um, I literally just put my camera down, we went for a little swim in the pool, grabbed some lunch. I then had one of the best massages I've had in my life. Um, so yeah, very, very, way more restful than I thought. These, these few legs would be really intense, but it's actually nice um, kind of leaving early, getting in for lunchtime and then having the afternoon to relax. So uh, it's been very cool. Um, it's a shame I'm not getting to explore these, uh, these countries a little bit more. I'd like to come back. Uh, it's also insane how remote we are. Like if you look at the map, we're like kind of so far out and into the Pacific Ocean. Um, yeah, it was quite a beautiful sunset anyway. It was, we've just missed it, but um, yeah. The weather has been really, really nice. I actually got a little bit sunburned, but I think I just enough, like I didn't get too badly burned, but um, yeah, weather's incredible. Anyway, due to the lack of sleep I got yesterday, I'm gonna get an early night tonight. Unfortunately, that means I'm not gonna be able to get a vlog up for you guys, but um, I'm so far behind anyway. Um, when I get to Hawaii, I'm gonna smash loads out, and I've got my friend Aria back in the UK. He has the hard drive I posted to him from Australia now with a bunch of vlogs, so together we're gonna to be um, trying to get them up consistently for you guys. Apologies again for the delay, it's been a lot more uh, demanding and um, just, yeah, way more difficult than I thought to kind of keep on top of the vlogs and keep this pace up of traveling for like over two months and trying to shoot stuff for the documentary, so. Um, and also for the documentary, um, it's difficult with these very short stops in some of these Pacific Islands to kind of include the culture from each of these specific islands. But when we get to Hawaii, and I know you can't kind of summarize that all the Pacific Islands, but when we get to Hawaii, uh, I want to do like a kind of a longer few days kind of hanging out with some um, kind of native Hawaiians and learning about the culture there and kind of doing a big feature for the documentary. So yeah, that's the way things are. We haven't been able to um, yeah, meet people in every country, but I'm trying to get you know, as much as a, of a diverse cultural representation as possible with the restrictions we have. Right, I'll catch you bright and early tomorrow morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.